Hi family, it is time for another Ayurvedic treatment on my hair. So this month I decided to go with a henna treatment and this is the brand of henna that I am using. I'm going to be mixing it with only two different liquids and then I'm going to be using only two different oil. This is a very, very simple mixture that I'm going to put together. I don't want anything complicated. And I also do not want too many ingredients. For those of you who are not familiar with henna, henna is very important for our hair. If you are someone who doesn't color your hair with artificial dye, then henna is a good alternative for you. I love to use henna, number one, to moisturize my hair so I love to use the moisturizing henna and I also use it to get rid of any cracks that is in my hair shaft henna acts as a glue on our hair if you have any cracks or holes in your hair shaft it act like glue and stick those cracks together so that is why I love using henna on my hair but another thing if you are someone who color your hair the a natural way to also color your hair using henna and indigo if you want to get rid of gray hair but in this video i'm just going to be using henna for the great benefit that it has for my hair my first mixture i'm going to be using is my coffee mixture so i'm just going to get my coffee powder in here and then i'm going to add hot water and then just put it aside for like 30 minutes let the coffee just infuse into the hot water and after that we will use it to mix our henna this is my black silk coffee that i'm using and i'm going in with four tablespoons of it coffee is very great for your hair just in case if you are not familiar with it it also helps to reduce thinning on your hair that's why i also got my coffee growth oil which is also a DHT blocker. So if you are someone who's suffering from excessive shedding, rinsing your hair with a coffee mixture, it's so amazing. So I'm going to grab our hot water. This is my henna bowl, don't judge me. Henna stain thing, so just get a bowl that you only use your Ayurvedic treatment in. So I'm just going to eyeball my mixture. I don't have any specific measurement. For anyone who love measurement, again, it's a, gonna be a little bit difficult because I don't know how long your hair is and how thick your hair is. So this is the amount of henna that I got. I always love to just make extra. In case I have remaining mixture i can always just keep it in the freezer to be mixing my henna first with my coconut milk this is a little bit thick which is great we can get all the nourishment from the coconut milk and it also help with moisture now if you are someone who your hair doesn't do well with coconut anything coconut then i recommend that you just mix your henna with a tea or just regular water and it will still be great but my hair does great with coconut milk and with coconut oil so i'm going to be using our coconut milk now if you have more coconut milk you can only also use coconut milk to mix your henna but i don't think i will have enough mixture that one i will also go in with our coffee Our henna quickly suck all the way our coconut milk so I'm now just going in with our coffee mixture that's why it's always great to have an extra mixture standing by now some people love their mixture to be very thick like this but I personally I don't like that because <laughs> number one is very hard to rinse out and number two is very difficult to apply on the hair so I love my a little bit runny and just smooth and creamy so I'm just gonna be adding in more coffee mixture until I get the consistency that I want this is the consistency of the henna treatment that I got don't worry if you have some little lumps in your henna once you leave it for a few hours it's all gonna melt down but i'm going to be using this tomorrow so i'm going to leave it overnight by tomorrow morning when i wake up 
they will all turn into a creamy consistency normally when i apply my henna treatment on my hair i leave it on for the longest <laughs> you don't have to if you are using a steamer over your henna treatment you can leave it on for like 30 minutes to an hour but i just prefer the longest the better and then i'll just keep doing stuff around the house after that i will rinse out my henna treatment and then i will go in with a conditioner or a treatment mask because sometimes henna can be a little bit drying because it's strengthening your hair also so if you want to replace moisture back into your hair then you can go in with a rinse out conditioner or a deep condition the next morning our treatment is ready and look at this and it just looks so so perfect okay let's go so we can apply it to my hair when you're using henna just make sure you're wearing something dark also i'm gonna put vaseline around my edges and also around my ears and i'm i decided to start regrowing my nails again so i got a glove here yeah, where did i put it okay there it is it's a little bit big <laughs> this is actually hobby glove but i'm going to put this on just so i don't know my nails so let me just do this quick oh i got my fast lane on i got my glove on we got out amazing hand on it i think this is a lot so whatever left over i'm just going to freeze it and i can use it on my next wash day i'm just going to do it in sections you guys have seen me apply stuff to my hair many times so this is nothing new and yes i have very curves are very messy but it is very beneficial for our hair so I don't mind a little mess once in a while and I got a towel down I also got some t-shirts over my lap so if anything fall it can just wash it on the towel I didn't put my towel around my neck. Hmm. Yeah, let me do that quick. applying my treatment this is how the back of my hair is looking I'm going to leave this on for a couple of hours and then after that I will rinse it out to just like a one rinse shampoo and then I will also go in and deep condition my hair because henna is a strengthening treatment yeah so this is how it's looking a little bit messy I'm just gonna go clean up clean around it a bit so just gonna end the video here if you love this video please so don't forget to give me a like leave a comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye bye